OK, so for this drawing, uh, we are going to be creating the multi-view drawing of this object, which includes the front view, the top view, and the right side view. Uh, it says we're not going to use our title block drawing because this drawing, once we draw it, is a little bit too big for that. And so we're going to actually pull up our title block drawing, draw it off to the side, and then we're going to use the scale command and rescale it down at a scale factor of 0.75. And then we'll copy and paste it onto our, or we'll move it onto our title block. Okay. So if we take a look at this thing, the size is seven inches long, the width is seven inches wide. The height is from the base up to the center of this big arc here is three inches. And it says that the radius of this big arc is 1.62. So the total height is three plus 1.6. So 4.62 is our total height, okay? Um, so let's get into AutoCAD. Oh, let me explain these two. It says right here, it gives an explanation for these circles. It says that there is a 1.5 inch diameter. That's actually the small diameter on the inside here. It says there is a 2.00 C bore, that stands for a counter bore, that is a half an inch deep and there are two holes, meaning this, this one here and this one here. So what this means is the guy that made this um, took a two inch drill bit, a two inch diameter drill bit, and drilled in this large hole here, he went a half an inch deep. So this two inch diameter circle goes in a half an inch. And then a 1.5 diameter goes the rest of, rest of the way through the block. Same thing up here. There's a two inch diameter circle that goes in a half an inch. And then a 1.5 diameter goes the rest of the way through uh, this block up here. Okay, so let's get into AutoCAD and we are going to draw the front, top, and right side view of this object. Okay, so on our AutoCAD page, on our title block, we're going to slide the title block off to the side. We're going to draw the object here and then we're going to shrink it down and put it back on our um, title block. So it said that our length of the front view is seven inches. So I'm just going to draw a seven inch line here. So I start a line, pull it this direction, type seven, enter. I'm going to go straight up 1.12, enter. I'm just going to go this way just a little bit. It, it doesn't tell me what this measurement is. So I'm just going to draw a little line to start. It says that from this left side up is three inches. And the center of the big arc is 1.62. So I'm going to draw that 1.62 over. I'm going to use that point as the center point for a center radius circle. So center radius here. Click on the center point here. Drop it off on the end of that line. And that gives me a 1.62 radius circle. Then I'm just going to go to the quadrant point here drop it down and just extend this line over and then shrink this line up and escape and we'll trim off the bottom of this arc. So trim, enter, and we'll get rid of the box. Good. Um, so now those two circles here, we have a two inch diameter circle and a 1.5 diameter circle. I'm gonna use the same center point so I have to be intentional in the circle that I choose. I want to choose center diameter. Started at the end point, and the first one's a two inch. And then do the same thing, center diameter. The second one is a 1.5. All right, good. Uh, from there, we're going to go our one inch spacing. So I'm going to go to the top here and go up one inch. And then just kind of draw a line over. I'm going to get a line from here and go up to there. So this is going to be the starting location of our top view, just where up one inch and over. So from here, I can go up three inches. The length is seven inches. Back down three inches. And back over. Hold on, let me. I'll just use this line, extend it over. Bring this line back here, escape, 
I can get rid of these two. They're not needed anymore. Um, there is a line that extends from this here, this edge here, straight up. I'm going to go through here like that. And these two circles, there's identical circles right over here. They are 1.5 inches off of the midpoint here. So I'm going to draw 1.5. And I'm just going to go copy these two, grab it at the center, and drop it on the end point there. I can get rid of my two center lines. I don't need these. Uh, let's draw the, the right side view. So from the top view, the bottom right corner of the top view, I'm going to draw a one inch line. So I'm going over one inch. And then I'm going to go up at a 45 degree line. And for my 45 degree line, I just want to make sure that it is above the top of my top view. Okay. And to make sure that this is 45 in the polar tracking, I want to make sure that 45 is turned on so that I get that green extension line um, when I draw that 45 degree line. So now I'm going to come from here down. I'm going to go from the top edge of this over to my 45 degree projection line and down. From the front view, I'm coming over from here, here. And here. So here's my right side view. So now I got to trim. Bleed out all these. Hey, what I do? I was not supposed to trim this line. Hold on, let me draw that back. Got rid of the wrong line. I need to get rid of these lines. These lines, and these lines. Okay. So now the general shape is intact. Now I have to project and I have to draw the hidden lines for the circles that I've created. So the drill of these two are going to go through here and they're going to go through here. And from these drill, we're gonna go down through here and then over to the 45 degree projection line and through here. So here's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna get a line command from the quadrant point here. I'm gonna come from here up a half an inch, so 0.5 enter. I'm gonna do the same thing from here. From here, I'm gonna go straight up to here and then up 0.5 and connect it, Keep line command again. And from the 1.5 diameter, I'm going to come all the way up to here and go through. And from here, through. And all of this gets turned into a hidden line. So I'm going to go by layer, other, load, um, hidden line. Okay. Highlight all this and choose hidden. Okay. I'm going to do that same thing through this one. So I'm going to go from here straight across, click, go in at 0.5, and then come from down here. Whoops. From here, I'm going to come over, go in 0.5, go up to meet that one. And then from the 1.5 diameter, through. And from the 1.5 diameter, through. And all of this gets turned into a hidden line. Escape. I'm going to do that down through here now. Point 0.5. From here. Point 0.5. Over to meet it. 
from the 1.5 group to all this gets turned into a hidden line. Okay. And one more, we're going through here. So I'm going to go from here over here and then 0.5 from here. Point five, and then over here. And then same thing from the inner one, over here. And all this gets turned into hidden. Okay. Okay, now we can put in our center lines. So I'm going to start with my center mark, click on the large circle here, and click on the outer edge here. And then for this one, we haven't used this one before. So this is a new, uh, a new command here, center line. And if I click on this line and this line, it gives me a center line. Click on center line for this and this. Click on center line for this and this. Click on center line for this and this. But then notice that none of them are long enough. So I have to click and drag it past slightly. Escape. Uh, for this one, I want to drag it up a little bit and drag it down a little bit. Escape. For this one, the same thing. Escape. And this one, the same thing. Escape. The so center line, center line, center line, center line, center line, center line. And we're all good. Now, the last thing we're going to do, like I said, it's too big to fit on our title block. So we're going to scale it down at a scale factor of 0.75. And I want everyone to watch this uh, because I haven't gone over the scale command before. So I'm simply going to highlight everything. And I'm going to go to the scale command right here, click on scale. This says specify your base. I'm just going to pick right in the middle. And notice I can move my mouse and scale it either bigger or smaller. And the assignment says to scale it at a factor of 0.75. So I type in 0.75, enter. That makes it a little bit smaller. Now I can just move the entire thing, grab it, drag it in. And there we have, this is drawing what, 6-5? And there we have it.